UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills, if I had the ability to mix the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, you got a pretty good job. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here for the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Dana Wise. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Hercules. All right, group of rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice. Whoa! Brutal knee to the body. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Good finish is Oh, wow. Massive uppercut. That will not feel 
Oh, good Lamar. Oh, nice right hand. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy, back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. To stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Dana White. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. Throwing hard in the pocket. Oh! Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Oh! And they separate. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots of the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Round two here. Nice strike. There's no give on that leg kick. Just misses with the straight right. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, that's a good right hand. And that one was heavy. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Stuff to take down, no problem. Nice body, puts right under the elbow. Ooh, nice knee with the body, just what he needed there. UFC President Dana White gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. This guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come with me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. And there comes the separation now. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Ooh, big shot land. Takedown defense holds up. 
your opponent has him to clinch. Pulling from hands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Dana White's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Final seconds here of round two. And they separate. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many. Oh, that is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Effective punch there by UFC President Dana White. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big head kick lands. Slips to avoid the run. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Some nice back and forth action here. A little single collar tie there. Nice punch lands over the top. Now to go in the round. Huge block there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. There by Dana White. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Nice counter with the hook shot there by UFC President Dana White. Oh, collar tie. Oh, beautiful right hook. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ndanu. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Blue's head. Big knee land. And now he's got that tight reach. Just missed with the left there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, he might be out. There, huge block. Beautiful strike. Again, they will clinch. Oh! Seconds winding down in round three. Fighter try to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. What a round! Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Go guys, fight! 
powerful leg kick lands. Nice one, two there. softened up here. Back to the feet now. Big ball for Crush Land. Now we get back to range. Down land and clean. Whoa! He's out! Wow! Wow! <laughs> Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Merliata has called a stop to this contest at 33 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Hercules! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's gonna be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.